Hello everyone, welcome to Data Avenue. In this video, I am going to talk about joint application development in software industry. In short form, it's called JAD. In software industry, JAD is a very famous uh, the terminology. In particularly, it's used in the recommend gathering process. So as part of the session, uh, let's see the background of SDLC to understand the problem statement and how JAD is helping us to suppress the problem and what are the significance of using JAD, the benefits and as part of a demo, let's look at the set of requirements, how it looks without JAD and with JAD. So let's understand the problem statement. So we all know the waterfall model, SDLC process. It's a sequential process starting from requirements, design, development, testing and deployment. The happy path is really good, no issues. So here if you see the requirements are being gathered, documented and well reviewed by business analysts during the first phase, the initial phase, the requirements. Once the requirements are finalized, it would be passed on to the next phase. The design team would pick it up, the development team or the architects. So they will come up with the design, then they start the development, then QA testing and deployment. Sometimes during the design or development phase, there is a chances of identifying the requirements gap, right? So what would happen? So we have to hold the entire process. We have to come back to the first phase or we have to reach out to the business analyst, get it clarified. There is a chances of changing the requirement or design or we have to do the one more impact analysis of existing code. So the problem is we have to do the redesign or it's going to cause some more delay in the overall timeline right that's a problem statement so how to avoid this so the solution is to have better requirements when i say better requirements it's not only the contribution from the business analyst so there must be a contribution from different teams the end users the uh, stakeholders the development team design team qa team right the dev team uh, who is having good knowledge in existing code base so they can map the requirements with the existing design or the code base and they can come up with the better solutions and find out more uh, impact right so that is a solution so we should have proper requirements so that there won't be any gaps would be identified during our design and development phase so how JAD is going to help us? As the name says, it's a joint application development, right? So there is a slight change in the SDLC process. That means the entire journey would have the group of people, a joint application development. That is what it's called. So the stakeholders, the end users, business analyst, the dev lead, and architect, the QA team lead, everyone would be there in the calls starting in the requirement itself. So they will discuss the requirements, the dev team would have the existing knowledge from the code base so they can able to map it and come up with the more constraints and get it clarified and uh, the, uh, finally the business analyst would document everything so that would help us to have the better requirement and the design would be reviewed by the entire team and the questions would be raised and clarified then and there. Similarly for a QA testing the test plan walkthrough or going through the test results everything. So this is the background and how the JAD is going to help us to have the better requirements in particularly. 
So here is this definition of uh, JAD, the JAD approach. So JAD is a process used to collect the business requirements. The intention of a JAD session to have a group of people, right? The SMEs, subject matter experts, users, the end users, business analysts, and the IT specialist. So how this is going to help us? When everybody into the call, and it helps us to come up with an agreement on a particular the scope or objective or the requirement for the projects right and these are the few points the benefits for having the JAD is it mandatory to have a JAD the answer is no it's better to have it why the one is to have a better requirements because everybody get into the call then the views is different right the development team and the uh, business analyst and uh, the end users they will discuss and come out with the uh, quick solutions and what is the significance of using this it improves the efficiency in particularly having the better requirements and based on the study it is like you know saving of 40 percent or more in overall design time so the chat is having a different phases okay so the one is about uh, first we need to have uh, the specific objective that is nothing but uh, the ideas or the initial requirements the set of objectives and the second phases to have the session and session we have, we need to conduct a session and we have to document it in general it would be uh, the scheduled call maybe it happens uh, alternative days uh, during the requirement phase where everyone would be there in the call and end users would come up with the requirement what they wanted us right for example i remember when i was in the client place uh, there was a end user the business team they were saying like they want to have the they want to automate the report to reduce their day-to-day -day activities since they are doing it manually right that is the first line of requirement and then business analyst would create the business requirement and then will derive the uh, user requirements functional and non-functional associated with that so being a Dave lead what I do is first I need to understand what uh, needs to be automated and what is the source and what exactly the report they wanted is for example the CSV file right so we had a uh, Informatica was in uh, for the report creation so I need to understand the source table uh, overall uh, you know what fields to be used and mapping between the uh, final file and uh, the source and the logics everything I need to understand so all these things would be discussed in a call and it would be documented very detailed manner uh, for example with uh, examples as appropriate so it's all covered in a uh, different phases so that is what first we should have the proper objective and then we have to get into the call and somebody has to conduct the call and somebody has to document it this is what it means so let's have a look at the use case uh, this is a fabricated uh, requirement uh, because uh, I work in healthcare industry I just modified the requirement in a very generic manner so here the example is uh, the sales report automation so which I worked on is it's a uh, report automation on a particular uh, healthcare client process I believe so here I just modified it to understand uh, for us so it's a sales report automation right example is the retail company they have a large number of stores at different places in different towns and cities the sales and marketing team want to have their sales information on daily and weekly basis for accounting for the analysis process 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to document the set of requirements in Excel sheet, one with uh, without JAD and one with JAD, and just to differentiate it, you know how it looks. So let's have a look. So here is a <coughs> set of requirements. Uh, I given different color codes to differentiate it between. Uh, uh, business requirement, user requirement, functional requirement. So as part of this, uh, we need to create uh, two set of reports. One is a weekly report, one is a daily report. And uh, that is what the difference between uh, the functional one and functional two. So the business requirement is, the scope of this uh, project is to improve the sales for 2021 and 2022. So the user requirement is the sales report generation. When you break it further, it would be the functional requirement. One is about uh, daily sales, other one is uh, weekly sales report. So the daily sales report, if you look at the description, the daily sales report shall contain uh, the sales data of the previous day. And uh, when you further break into the functional requirements, the report would have the header and what are the fields it should have the pro product id product name sales quantity and the price and what is the report name right the report shall be a text file it's uh, created with uh, the store id and name as uh, part of the file name for the identification and uh, which location it should be available for uh, the team to access the same set of requirements is for this is for weekly the only difference is this is for previous day this is for the previous week the end of the week we generated and uh, this is the non-functional uh, because the sales team would be available uh, at office by 9 a.m. and they want to have the reports to be there uh, for uh, the analysis purpose. So if you look at it, these requirements are pretty clear, no doubt about it. And I provided the severity of uh, each requirements. This is without JAD. So with my assumption, so with JAD, how it looks like is the same set of requirements, it's uplifted to the next level, meaning there is no difference in the business requirement. You don't see any changes in the user requirement. When it comes to the functional, this is where the design and development team would be more interested to understand how to transform those requirements to the code, right? So they have to understand what is the database and which table they have to refer. And when it comes to uh, the report name, so being a tech lead, uh, what I do is I go back to the existing system and understand how it looks and I'll come up with, uh, you know, see, this is the format. I'm going to use it. Will it okay? I'll take an opinion from everyone. So this is the format. The first is the environment and this is the store ID, store name, and it's going to say it's a daily and it's going to have the timestamp, right? So here is an example. So when I say P, it would be the production. When you do it in the dev, it would be D. And when it comes to T in case of uh, the QA. So this is an example. I'll get into the call. I'll just go and tell them that uh, when I generate a report like this, is that OK? So they'll take an opinion and I can modify it. And uh, I'll some cases. Uh, you know, for example, the functional requirement here, even though it's a daily report, as a dev team, uh, I'll go back and ask the questions, how to handle it as part of the holidays, right? So I just provided the a date for the reference. And uh, similarly for the weekly, the only difference you can see is, so uh, instead of daily, in all the places, it's a weekly. So this is just my assumption how the requirements would be 
uplifted to the next level when you use the jar thank you for watching uh, if you have any questions uh, please comment it uh, as part of this video and definitely i'll get back to you and thank you once again